Hey guys, Coach Daniel Hammer of Tennis, and today we're coming at you with a very special Grand Slam ball battle. And so on this video, we're going to be testing the official match balls from each Grand Slam tournament. So we've got all the balls here from the French Open, the brand new Wilson balls that are just out. We've got the U.S. Open, we've got the Australian Open, and we've got the Slazenger Wimbledon ball. So we're going to be putting them to the test. We're going to rally with each ball. We're going to hit some serves. We're going to be volleying with them. We're going to see which ball holds up, which ball's got better feel, which ball we like the best to declare our winner of this very special Grand Slam ball battle. But do me a favor first, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. Give this video a like and hit those comments below. I'd love to talk to tennis with you guys. So let's get to it. All right, so first we're going to take a look at the Australian official match ball. All right, so it comes in this pretty cool bright can. It matches the colors there. It's got the window there where you can see the balls inside. So let's open these up. It's got that good tennis ball smell. So there's the balls there. They've all got this really cool Australian open logo on them, which is pretty neat. So the seams of the ball look pretty consistent. The nap of the felt seems pretty tight. I like that. It's got a good feel. They feel pretty consistent with the squeeze there. These are about $4 a can. You can get these pretty much at most of um, the larger online retailers, Tennis Warehouse, uh, Tennis Express, places like that a lot of times have these. Um, so these are relatively easy to come by. They're about 4 bucks a can. So now next let's take a look at the French Open official ball. So the French Open ball this year uh, actually got switched to Wilson. It used to be at the Babolat, so this is the first year for Wilson to make the official match ball. I don't know if these are available in the United States yet. You might be able to get them by the case. I was able to track down a can, these in the cans. I had to actually get them through Canada. Um, so they're about four bucks a can, but then depending on where you are internationally, the shipping may be a little bit more. So let's take a look at these. Got that good tennis ball smell. Actually, it smells a little different than I'm used to, to be honest. This can's kind of cool. It's got like a kind of a frosted look to it. Kind of has like a matte finish. So, nap on these, pretty good. A little fuzzier than the Australian Open ball. Seams on the ball look a little wider than the seams on the Australian Open ball. You've got the Roland Garros print on the back which is pretty cool. And then Wilson on the front with no, there's no numbers on these balls. So they feel pretty consistent there, pretty firm. All right. Now let's take a look at the Wimbledon official match ball. So to get these Wimbledon balls, it was a little more tricky for me. So you can't order these off the Slauzinger website if we order them. Um, they do international shipping, but with the international shipping and the conversion from pounds to the United States dollar, they're going to be a little bit more expensive. So I did actually order these off Amazon. I found a seller, but for four balls, these ran me about 15 bucks to my door. So they come in a really cool metal can that's got some pictures of the Wimbledon grounds there. It's a metallic metal can. It's pretty neat. So let's take a look at these. Got that good tennis ball smell. There are four balls in there. So the nap on these is pretty tight. They're very, not much fuzzing. Um, the seams look pretty consistent. A little bit deeper of a seam than on some of the other balls. It looks like there's a little deeper. But it's got the Slozinger with the Wimbledon there. And the balls do have a number on them where the Rubber comes on the seam. It's got a little bit, but not too bad of a kind of overlap there, but looks pretty good. They feel a little softer than maybe the other hard court balls, but all right, let's put those in there. And last but not least, let's take a look at the US Open official match ball. And so I picked these up at Walmart, it carries these. Uh, they're about four bucks a can. All right, so let's take a look. Smell a little gluey for some reason. They smell different. 
than I'm used to. Looks like they've changed the logo on the ball recently. It's a little different than they used to be. It doesn't have that like the flaming ball anymore that has that on there, but uh, the print looks a little bit bigger than it has in the past. Actually, you can feel the ink on the ball right there. It's making it, it can definitely feel a different texture. These feel pretty consistent. The seams, I will say, the seams look pretty good. You can see their quality control may be a little bit an issue on that ball. It's got some of the uh, seam material out there in the felt. So uh, overall, though, looks like our normal US Open ball. So we're going to put these to the test. And so again, these balls, these were about four bucks a can. It's about four bucks a can. And these were $15 for this can. But you do get four balls. And before you guys say anything, I do realize that we are going to be testing these on a hard court. Now all of these balls, even the Wimbledon ball says for use on all court surfaces. Most of them all say all court surfaces. The French Open ball is the only one that does not say for all court surfaces. It does say clay court. But we're going to be testing these on a hard court. Um, and I think it's still going to be giving them an equal test because they're all going to be on the same surface. So we're going to be hitting with these. We're going to see which ball um, is going to be our favorite. Go ahead and put it in the comments below. Tell us what ball you think is going to come out to be our favorite. Put it down in the comments below. Love to see what you guys think. And we're going to give them a test and let's do it. Starting to fuzz a little bit. Feeling a little heavy and starting to fuzz. Roll on Garrows. All right, after about five minutes, decent amount of fuzz, not as much as the Australian Open. Some court marks, prints wearing off. Fuzzing though isn't nearly, isn't as bad as the Australian Open. Wimbledon, official match ball. All right, after about five minutes, some decent amount of fuzz, not too bad. Uh, the print's kind of coming off. Not a whole lot of discoloration, a little bit of blue from this core here, but it still feels pretty good. US Open official match ball. All right, so after about five minutes, fluffing up not too bad. About average, I'd say, for the others. Print's still hanging on pretty good. A little bit of discoloring from the court, not too bad. Seems look pretty good.
Well, she ain't open. French open and fish the ball. Well, one of the official match ball. U.S. Open, official match ball. All right, guys, for the serving test, we're gonna hit five balls with each ball. That's gonna be a brand new ball out of the can, and we're gonna see what our average serve speed is. All right, Roland Garros, official match ball. One more in the official match ball. U.S. Open, this is match ball. All right, guys, so after our test, we ride with each ball for about 10 minutes, then we hit volleys, and then we hit serves. So I find it interesting that with the Wilson balls, I average just about the same, and then with the Wimbledon and Australian Open ball, average about the same. So you can see the results of the wear. So the Wimbledon ball kind of fuzzed out quite a bit there. It's got some marks from the court, but not too bad. The Australian Open balls fuzzed out quite a bit and showing some signs of wear. The Roland Garros ball, the print is showing some significant signs of wear, but the ball hasn't really fuzzed out very much. The ball is still pretty small there. The US Open ball hasn't really fuzzed out too bad either, and it actually feels about the same as it did when it was just out of the can. The, US, the Australian Open ball to us felt like it was the heaviest, and it felt kind of slow. It was just, it felt like it was, um, it fuzzed up a lot, and it was a real heavy ball in our racket. The French Open ball didn't feel too bad. The US Open ball felt pretty good as well. And I do think that this is a new um, formulation of the ball. The one, the can is obviously designed different than it used to be. Also the logo and the print on the ball is different than it used to be. And so if you saw my review video reviewing the US Open ball, we didn't really like it then, but I will say this ball feels significantly different and better now. Um, the Wimbledon ball felt pretty good. It felt like it was maybe a little bit crisper. It had more of a kind of a crisp feel, not necessarily a hard, but definitely more of kind of a poppier feel to it than the other balls. When we did our volleys, again, the Australian Open ball felt heavy and slow, and the, Wil the Wimbledon ball, it felt really fast and crispy, and the Wilson balls felt about the same, and they had a real solid, a pretty good feel to them as well. So after taking into consideration how these balls felt with the ground strokes, how they felt on the volleys, and with the speed and how they felt on the serve, which ball is going to be our Grand Slam ball battle winner? Which ball is going to take the cake? Which ball is going to send the others packing? Overall ball for me, and a surprise, the Wilson US Open is going to be our Grand Slam ball battle winner. 
which is a complete surprise because as you know, I've reviewed the Wilson US Open ball before and I wasn't our favorite ball, but of these balls, to me, it had the best overall feel, especially since they've, they've done something different. I don't know if any folks from Wilson can verify that, but to my feel, it feels like the Wilson US Open ball is different now. And I'm gonna say that that is our current Grand Slam ball battle champion. All right, guys, so thanks for watching this Grand Slam Ball Battle and Review. I hope that you enjoyed this content. Be sure to do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. That way you're gonna get notified of all the new Hammer Tennis videos coming out and all the brand new reviews and instructional videos that are gonna be headed your way. Be sure to give us a like and hit those comments below, guys. So I've been Coach Daniel for Hammer and Tennis. Until next time, catch you later.